Hi everybody. So happy Valentine's Day. Um, I hope everyone has a really nice time either today if you're celebrating it on Valentine's Day or this weekend if you're waiting for the weekend. Um, I'm not doing much for Valentine's Day. I'm probably just going to get some friends together and go to the movies and go watch Beautiful Creatures. Um, for some reason that movie is actually here on time. It took three weeks for Les Mis to get here. Uh, Les Miserables, if anybody doesn't know the short for that. But uh, Beautiful Creatures is here on time. So that's probably what will be happening for Valentine's Day here. There's really nothing exciting going on. No dances, no nothing. So it's pretty much just the movies. I'm sure it'll be fun. <laughs> Um, I'm just doing a bit of a very small book haul, three books, and then also a resolution update from the resolution video that I did about a month ago. And that is pretty much it for today. The first book here is Paranormalcy by Kristen White, or Kristen White. And this is a book about a girl who works at a paranormal containment agency, and there's lots of supernatural creatures involved. It's a, it's not an older book, but I think there's already the three books in the series out already. So it's, I'm a little bit behind on this series, but I got the first book now and I'm going to read it very soon. And I got City of a Thousand Dolls by Miriam Forster. And this is a pretty new book and it is about a young girl who is abandoned at the gates of the city of a thousand dolls and here orphan girls train as where is it musicians healers courtesans and assassins and one by one girls are starting to die and the main character is trying to figure out what's going on before she becomes the next victim so this sounds really good <laughs> And then the other book here is The Indigo Spell by Rochelle Mead, which is the third book in the Bloodline series, which is a spin-off of the Vampire Academy series. So I haven't actually read any of the Bloodlines books yet. There's Bloodlines, The Golden Lily, and now The Indigo Spell. But I have read about half, I think, or three or four, no, just three books in the uh, Vampire Academy series. And I really enjoy that series. It's just taken me a while to get through it. So I'm eventually going to get around to the Bloodline series as well. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about the Bloodline series though, considering that it's a spin-off and I really don't think my favorite characters from the Vampire Academy series are in this one. So hopefully I'll like some of the characters in this one just as much as I like the characters in the Vampire Di or Vampire Academy. I'm getting my vampire books mixed up. And then right now I am reading Ink, Ink, uh, Ink Exchange by Melissa Ma. And this is the second book in the Wicked Lovely series. I'm about halfway through right now. Um, and then after that, I'm going to start The Madman's Daughter by Megan Shepard. Really excited to read this one. And she is also, this is her first book, so it counts on my debut authors challenge, which is going to be very good because I'm a little bit behind on that challenge. I have only read one debut author so far this year. I'm not too, too worried about it though because we are still in the middle of February and I know there's a lot of good books coming out this year. Um, and I'm almost actually done some of my other challenges. I have read four classics so far, so I may actually up my five goal to ten. Um, so far I have read Les Miserables, which really should probably count as two or three books considering how it's about 1,200 pages long. I have read Anne of Green Gables, I have read Dracula, and I have read Little Women. So. There's a lot more classics out there that I either want to read or reread. So upping the challenge to 10 is probably going to happen. 
then in my hundred goal or hundred book goal I have read 28 books if I don't include novelists 30 if I do include novelists so that's probably going to get upped as well getting sick for two weeks well that really helped my reading goals I kind of just lied in bed and read and I flew through almost all of the Suki Stackhouse series so there was about I think I read like 13 books of those or like 12 or 13 I can't remember the exact number uh, so that really helped <laughs> it was like a book a day <laughs> sometimes more um, so there's that one's probably going to be up as well then I have on Goodreads I joined a contemporary challenge because I really do want to read more contemporary books this year and I have read four contemporary books so far this year out of the ten that I've challenged myself so that could end up getting upped as well because there's a lot of contemporary books out there that I've always meant to read I just never got around to reading them and this gives me the perfect excuse to actually finally force myself to read them and put away some of the paranormal books that I just seem to be drawn to all the time. Um, but, so I'm going to wait until I'm probably seven or eight books into the challenge before I think about upping that one. But chances are will probably be upped. And strangely enough, the challenges that I'm falling behind on are my movie challenges watching classic movies, watching first-time directors, and I thought that was going to be the easy part of the challenges because, you know, it takes absolutely no energy to sit down for two or three hours and watch a movie. But I am just not finding myself in a movie mood lately, I guess. Um, but probably this summer I'll catch up on those. Lots of times, um, They've got a big screen down at the beach that they set up and they'll show old movies at night. So if you can brave the mosquitoes, it's a really good place to go and watch. Um, and that'll be really nice to watch with a lot of other people as well. And I know there's a lot of film festivals that come out throughout the year and lots of debut um, directors there. So I'll eventually catch up on my movie challenges. I'm just not too worried. I'm going to stick to my re reading challenges right now and really start working on those. So that's all. I hope everybody has a really good Valentine's Day and I'll see everybody next time.